when you open the file from your email, I don't know if it will do this for everyone, but for me the first time it took it about a minute to load. So I kept clicking it and I kept getting these random options at the bottom that you're seeing. Patience is not my strong suit, but eventually I waited 30 seconds. Then this will pop up. In the top right corner, you're gonna click to save to your files. Once the options pop up, you can choose any file you want to save it to. Then you'll wanna close out, go back to your main screen, find your files folder. Once you open that, click back on my iPhone so you can find all your folders. Find the folder you saved it in and click preview content. Now, you're just going to see a gray screen. You're not gonna actually see an image, but you'll still wanna click that bottom left button that will allow you to save the image. And then you're gonna swipe to the next one, click the bottom left button, save the image. Swipe to the next one, click the bottom left button and save the image. Do this for all six of them. Even though it doesn't look like you're saving anything, you actually are. Then you wanna close out. Open your Lightroom. In the bottom right hand corner, you click, then you're gonna see six blank black images. At the top right corner, you wanna click the three little dots so you can select the six. Then click all six of the new files you'll import. Click all photos at the bottom. And then you're gonna click all photos. You will then see the images that first appeared gray. They will now appear as an actual image and they will not be this exact image. I ended up switching the image. These are the images you will want to click on. Click open one, then click the three dots in the upper right hand corner, which will open the menu where you can click create preset. Right here, you'll want to save your preset as a name. I named mine Blossom One. Then hit done in the bottom right hand corner and a message will pop up to tell you that you've saved your preset. Swipe to your next photo and click create a new preset the same way you did with the last. Name it. Click done. Swipe and repeat this step for all six of them. Once you've saved all your presets, go back to your photo album and find a photo that you would like to try your presets out on. Scroll over on the bottom right and click presets. Here you can click each of your presets and try them out. And once you find one you like, click the check mark in the bottom right hand corner. Now you can export your photo or go into editing further if you feel like you need to tweak it.